to my channel. So it's the end of July and you probably know what's coming. It's going to be a July favourite. I can't believe, and I know they say this every month, but honestly I think this month has been the quickest month in the whole year. Like this has been and gone in a flash of a flash of a blink. In the blink of an eye it's gone. I can't get over how quick July has come and it's like no I don't want July to end. I like July because it's my birthday. But anyway, if you are new here, I'm Makeup Junkie G and it would be so fab if you could subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell button. That will help you go out and you will never miss a video. You'll basically get a notification every time I upload a video so you will never miss an upload, which is so fab. But without any further ado, let's get straight in to July favourites. Don't know why I'm doing these. So this month I have been loving and I don't know if you probably can tell because I've been using it so much but it's the Urban Decay Born to One palette. I love this so much. I've done a look on it. I use this quite a lot. I've used it today. I love the browns. I love the blues. It's such a stunning palette. I can't get over the quality. I think this palette is the most pigmented palette Urban Decay have brought out. Like Urban Decay killed it with this palette. It is beautiful. The packaging for this palette as well is so cute. The way it's got a collage of holiday pictures, which I think is so cute and so relatable because it's like you can bring this everywhere you go, everywhere you go. You can bring this palette everywhere you go, no matter what holiday, you've got all colours to suit any occasion. So these are the colours of this palette. And as you can see, you've got pretty much a mix of everything like warm browns, pinks, greens, blues, I am obsessed. I think this palette is so pretty and it will just go with everything. You've got your colours, you've got your shimmers, you've got your pink, you've got your warm browns and that's what I've been using today, my warm browns, but I love in particular Big Sky, I love Radio, I love, love, love. <laughs> I don't know what, the bright orange in this palette, the pinks and Riff, Riff is what I've got on today mixed with Weekender and Together, they're just so fab and this palette is so worth the hype and the buy, like I recommend if you want a palette for pretty much your everyday but your glam and the pop of colour, Urban Decay has given you this palette for pretty much any, any occasion, any situation. Another massive favourite this month has been this highlighting palette. This is so good. So this is the Laura Geller Life Glows On Illuminator Palette. This is so stunning. The pack. Oh man, there's an aeroplane. So the packaging of this palette is absolutely stunning. It is basically a unicorn package. Like. It's a unicorn in this little package. I love it. It's so gorgeous, but when you open the palette up, it gets even better. Like, ah, look at them colours. They are so pigmented. I love the quality and the formula of these. They're really, really smooth. I can't get over them. Like, when I use them on my cheeks, they blend like a dream. They don't look powdery at all, and they really do melt into your skin. I just love French frizz, that is my favourite, but you have this one which has got like a pink undertone, a purple undertone, then the most gorgeous champagne one which is called French frizz. Now I love all of these, these this one is very similar to um, MAC, oh there's a highlighter in MAC that is literally identical to this, but this, if you get this palette you're pretty much just sorted, can't get enough of this palette, I love it. Oh. It's like the way to my heart. <laughs> so this palette is from Beauty Bay, so if you are interested in getting a cute little highlighting palette, because the size is adorable, definitely check out Beauty Bay because they definitely do have some fab gems, which you can't get really that well. Like Some things you can get on Beauty Bay that are just impossible to get elsewhere, so this palette, Beauty Bay, they've got you. They have this palette. Oh. So my next favourites are lips, and now I have been loving this Fenty Beauty Lipstick. I love it. So this is the Fenty Beauty Lipstick in the shade Freckle Fiesta. I love this name. 
so much. It's a name that I've never ever heard of and this lipstick I have actually used in a Fast Face Friday and it is actually stunning. It is the most gorgeous orange shade that's like a little bit burnt, it's like a burnt orange but not as dark for summer, like you could easily get away with this in summer with like gorgeous lashes and just your freckles. Like, I am so going to be rocking this more this next month definitely. I'll be wearing this with no foundation. I really want to do it because I think it really does complement freckle skin. I'm sure Rihanna made this lipstick to kind of complement people with freckles. I don't know because when I wear this lipstick, it does something to my face and I'm shook. I am shook. My next favourite has been a lip gloss. Now this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Lip Gloss in the shade Peach Fuzz. This is actually gorgeous. This is more of a pink gloss. Pinky nude, I'd probably say. It is beautiful. And I got this in, oh my god, January, I want to say. And this month, I really have been using it. I've been really liking the pinky nude gloss, which is very rare for me. I've been wearing it a lot. It feels so nice on my lips. It's got peach oil. Yeah, it's like a cream peach oil lip gloss. It is super pigmented. Too Faced had me shook and honestly the smell of this lip gloss, oh, the smell is divine, I love it. But this lip gloss is so fab. Definitely, definitely check out Too Faced Sweet Peach range if you want to get a good like nude lip gloss because oh my god. We love a full memory card. My next favourite has been one skincare product. Lahade, I don't really know how to say it. This is a moisturising serum. This is amazing for your skin. In the morning, if I apply this, it's not too heavy on my skin, especially when I'm wearing heavy foundation. It's got a slight tacky base, so when you put this on under foundation, it really, really sticks to your foundation, makes it last longer. So this is amazing, and on your skin, it feels so lovely. A little bit goes a long way. This smells amazing. It smells so refreshing and it's so lovely to put on instead of a heavy moisturiser because sometimes my skin can really clog up over moisturiser. So this is perfect for in the morning once you've cleansed and ready for makeup. So for the fail kind of-ish, mm, meh part of this video, I have got my Fenty Beauty Foundation. Now, I don't know if I like it and I don't know if I love it. It's a bit of a love-hate relationship. This with a beauty blender is really well, goes really well on my skin, but this with a brush can act quite cakey. I don't know if it's my skin type. It's really good for the coverage and it does last all day, but it's something that I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase and mm, it's not my favorite foundation and my skin definitely doesn't like it, so. This is the fail of the video, which I'm kind of sad about because I love Fenty Beauty anyway. It's just this. <laughs> so my favourite song of this month is Youth by Shawn Mendes and Khaled. Honestly, their voices are popping. I love them. I love Khaled and I love Shawn Mendes and this song is such a beautiful, beautiful song. I love it and definitely, if you haven't already, Definitely check it out, it's amazing. My last favourite of the month has been my tattoos. I, yeah, my tattoos. I got two tattoos this month, which is crazy. I really wanted to get two this month for my birthday. So I got one on this arm that says one of a kind, and then I also have a love heart on the back of my wrist. But that's been a massive favourite this month. I love my tattoos and it's very addicting. I also want more. Oh. <laughs> I just love them. But that is it for today's July favourites. There's a few hits and one miss, but July has gone, lads. I'm kind of sad. <laughs> also, comment down below what has been your favourites of July, I would like to know. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the notification bell button. That would be so fab. Also, please don't forget to check out my mum's channel. She's uploaded two fab videos and she's also got a haul coming up. So definitely head over there and give her some love. She would appreciate it very much. I'm going to love you and leave you and I will see you next week for a brand new vlog and a brand new main channel video. Bye! You have had in the month of March.
March, really? It's March, Mum. It's March, apparently, to my morphine brain. It's March, not July. <laughs>